Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. In this film I'm going to try and help what seems to be quite a number of Cavalon pilots that get into what I call the Cavalon Nod. It's a movement that makes the Cavalon look like a rocking horse. And also I'll help those that struggle with directional control in takeoff or landings. As usual I'll explain not only the solution but why it happens in the first place, leaving you to make informed choices. The problem is certainly widespread, and these short clips highlighting the problem show pilots from UK, Germany and the USA. And before we get into things, obviously I use these clips not to run people over, but merely to highlight the problem, and showing real pilots in real situations demonstrates the actual problems exist, and this isn't made up. Happily, things are easily solved, and I think it makes for more confident, safer pilots. Often the nose up pitch can be very aggressive and it can additionally lead to poor directional control because your vision is impaired, the nose wheel is off the ground and you're distracted sorting out the pitch issue. The Cavalon steers the nose wheel directly via the rudder pedals and at the lower speeds that the nose up pitch can occur, the rudder is working less efficiently aerodynamically. The origin for both pitch and directional stability problems are partly a training issue and partly the design of the Cavalon. Let's look at the pitch issue first. Away from pilot technique, elements of the Cavalon design are unhelpful to our problem. The rotor head and trim system are one source, the enclosed nature of the cockpit another, the crank keel isn't helpful and the general weight and balance are also influential. Finally, the lack of consistency in the cockpit layout can make the pilot feel very lost during any transitional phase. Who knew there was so much at work here and it highlights the need to get good differences training and spend time going through the details of the machine with someone of greater experience because all these snags are very real. The crank keel allows for this over pitching situation with a high fuel load the C of G moves aft particularly with a nose high attitude creating inconsistency made worse because the tank isn't baffled, so the fuel is a sloshing moving mass. The rotor head setup and trim system on Cavalon mean that the stick feel and force are quite different from the usual open tandem trainer, and during takeoff with full aft stick, there is a feeling there's resistance to get the stick moving initially, which is made worse dependent upon your physical size and how you're sitting. Also recognize that unlike an open aircraft, where your elbows can stick out beyond the cockpit, in the enclosed Cavalon they can't because the door is there. What that means is the mechanics of your arm are limited to being tighter into your body, which makes use of the shoulder limited. In terms of stick force, there's little you can do other than sit well in the seat and dump any residual trim pressure having gone to flight from brake. Takeoff technique wise, you should look at my other films, but for some, that want to retain a definite wheel balance, here is an alternative. It's important not to get behind the aircraft such that you don't become surprised when the nose rises. Practice is obviously helpful and during it you should apply consistent power and note the rotor RPM. Once rotor RPM is around 250 you can be sure the nose will soon rise and the key is not to be surprised by the nose rising and if you are not to overreact with an aggressive forward stick. Better to anticipate the nose movement and relax the back stick ahead of that nose rising. If your aim is to hold a well controlled wheel balance attitude then it's better done with power rather than stick. Of course that necessarily means you can't already be at full power. Some advocate the use of feel to anticipate when the nose is going to rise. But that does require experience and clearly these pilots are demonstrating that's not working for them. Those that struggle for consistent directional control in Cavalon might consider that the larger side by side cabin tends to blank the tail and you're left only with the prop wash. But the tailplane is also smaller than the typical tandem trainer, meaning that once you're reliant on the aerodynamic surface of the rudder you may need to get your feet working a little bit more. Also remember 
that because of the side-by-side -side layout of this aircraft, the balance will change depending upon solo flight or flight with a passenger, and also how big your passenger happens to be. All these elements are having an effect, and your experience and the configuration of the aircraft at the time are combining to give the net result, and that's before you factor in effects of crosswind and the pressures of flying your wife or friend. Don't underestimate the task and practice and plan well. Fly safely.